Hello, this is David here at Micro Center. Today I'm going to show you how to locally access your WinBook D5008 DHDVR with IMC on an iOS device. Let's get started. Starting out on the DVR, you want to get your IP address, so right click anywhere on the main screen and click Main Menu, then click Configuration, and then click Network. The Base tab is where you will configure the DVR to be DHCP or static. The easiest configuration will be to set the DVR to DHCP by clicking the DHCP box. Enabling DHCP will make the DVR get its network information from your router. Now the downfall of this means that your IP address information can change. Now to prevent the IP address from changing, you can configure the DVR for a static IP. Now a static IP address you will set by unchecking the DHCP box and then filling out the IP address, subnet mask, gateway address, and DNS servers, which all depends on the configuration of your router. And when complete, click the apply button at the bottom. If you set for an IP address to be static, you already have it and you can move on to the next, next step. If set for DHCP, you will want to click on the network state tab to get your IP address. The IP address will be in the sender IP address field. Once you have your IP address, you can move on to your iPad or iPhone. On your iOS device, you'll want to start off by tapping on App Store and then do a search for IMC. If you ever downloaded IMC before, you'll see a cloud icon to download it again. Tap on that. And if this is the first time of downloading IMC, tap on the Get icon. Wait for IMC to finish downloading and open it up by tapping on open or by tapping on the IMC icon through your apps. Once you're in IMC, tap on the plus sign to add a DVR. The name of the DVR is up to you. Then type in the IP address that you obtained from the DVR earlier. Then type in the TCP port. By default, this is 8000. And if you change that, just type in whatever number you change that to in the settings. Next, type in the user ID and password. By default, it is admin for the user ID and 123456 for the password. After that, change the max channel to 8 and leave the login mode to address. Tap on OK in the upper right hand corner to save. You can assign each square a channel feed. Just select that square and then tap on your DVR and then double tap on one of the channels and it will put that channel feed in the selected square. You can do that to all the squares up on the main screen. The curved arrow to the left will switch from the device list to a full screen and back. The icon of a square in front of a multi-squared box will pause all the feeds and then you can select each square and hit the arrow button pointing to the right to resume feed on each individual feed. To unassign a feed from a square, just select the square and then hit the icon that looks like a square with an X in the lower right hand corner. To reorganize the squares, you can tap on the double harpoon icon at the bottom of the screen. This will bring up a sub-menu in which you can select from three different options. The light bulb icon next to that will bring up your DVR alerts. The double screen icon will take a snapshot and save it to the iOS device. The icon with the screen and eye will bring up the snapshots saved to the iOS device. Tapping on the camcorder icon will start recording to the iOS device. And tapping off of that will stop the recording. And then you can bring up those recordings by tapping on the camcorder icon with the eye on top of it. In the device list, you can tap on the pencil icon to bring up the edit settings. You can export your settings. You can also import your settings. And if you tap on the DVR, you will get the options to edit the settings. Click OK in the corner to save your settings. To delete a DVR, tap on the trash can icon, then tap on the DVR, and then tap OK for the confirmation. To pull up the app settings, just tap on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner of the device list. And that concludes today's video. If you have any further questions, please visit us at microcentertech.com. And thank you for watching.